Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you for holding this hearing and allowing us to participate in this process. I'm speaking to you today on amendment number 195 to provide an exemption for livestock haulers to current hours of service regulations for the last 150 air miles to their final destination. Mr. Chairman, since last year, livestock haulers have been temporarily exempted from hours of service requirements thanks to an emergency declaration from the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration. Now, throughout this period, haulers have transported cattle safely and efficiently. The exemption has helped producers to continue to provide beef to U.S. consumers during what has been an unprecedented, uh, unprecedented time for our nation's food supply chain. Now, despite this temporary exemption, a permanent solution for our livestock haulers and cattle producers is urgently needed. Current statute exempts livestock haulers from hours of service requirements within 150 air miles of the source or beginning location of the, their haul. Now, this exemption is a partial solution that allows haulers to take additional time to drive safely and slowly and handle with care the livestock that they are transporting. However, the destination, whether it be a feed yard, a pasture processing facility, uh, can often be just as remote. Coming from a cow-calf state like Florida, this is particularly important to my state, my district, and really the southeast. So we see time and time again that processing facilities have long lines and require careful and slow handling of animals. Now, speaking as a Floridian, I understand better than most how a lack of flexibility in hours of service requirements can jeopardize animal welfare and the success of our producers in the long run. Cattle is just one of Florida's many important exports to other states. It's typically an eight hour journey just to transport cattle from our producers in South Florida all the way to the north end of the state before continuing onward to destinations in the Midwest and elsewhere. In fact, Florida is home to the largest cow calf operation in the country. For the health and welfare of cattle in transit, livestock haulers need flexibility in hours of service requirements on both the front and back end of their journey to get cattle out of Florida and transported to their destination safely and efficiently. Allowing for more flexibility for our livestock haulers within hours of service allows for the safe transport of the livestock as well as the driver and everyone else on the road. Hauling live animals is simply not the same as hauling a trailer full of toilet paper. However, both have been vital during this pandemic. The additional flexibility has helped to ensure the continued success of our nation's livestock industry, food supply, and by extension, national security. My amendment today would also help prevent situations where haulers simply, quote unquote, run out of time and are forced to stop with fully loaded animals in 90 degree plus heat for a full 10 hours before completing their haul. This is simply not feasible, safe, or when you are hauling live animals. Mr. Chairman, I urge you and your colleagues to allow debate on this amendment on the House floor. And with that, I yield back. Thank you very much. 